everyone, it's Marianne. Welcome to Vlogmas episode 3. I completely deleted the intro that I just edited for this Vlogmas. I'm really mad at myself, so I'm filming a really quick one just to let you know what you're going to see in this vlog. So this Vlogmas, the theme is gingerbread. First, I'm going to show you how I turned my mini greenhouse into a gingerbread house. And then I'm baking gingerbread cookies for the very first time. And then I'm going to take you to some DMV holiday events from the wreath laying ceremony at the Alexandria National Cemetery and taking you to see the decor and the holiday events at the National Harbor. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the sides where I'm going to be covering it up with cardboard to make the gingerbread and you might say if we're going to cover it up what's going to happen to the plants you're not going to have access to light i'm going to keep this one where it opens and this side uncovered so it's still going to have some light through it's facing that way anyways so i'm just going to cover this part and the way i'm also designing it is i'm going to keep like i'm going to give it windows and stuff so it will still have light coming through you'll see but first let me measure it this side is 15.8 so now that I got the measurements down I'm gonna trace them on a the cardboard and go from there so this is the cardboard box and I think it would be enough for what I'm trying to do but I have some more if needed So here are the parts all cut out and I'm also like trying to do the windows on each one of them. So I finished decorating the pieces last night and I let it dry overnight but it's still kind of wet. But unlike the decorations that I did here, I, I used a white glue. I thought it would dry white. It didn't so I have to go over it with paint again. So I don't think I mentioned it last night, but this one I used. I got this from the Dollar Tree store. It says it's washable. Not that I particularly picked this, but it's the only white paint they have available in this craft section. And this one is actually a the lid comment. This is like the lid of a sriracha sauce. I saved it knowing I know I'm gonna be needing it someday. So I'm really happy that I did. So I just opened it up a little bit so that it doesn't squirt out too much. And I'm just gonna go over the lines of what I did in the other ones. Hopefully you're seeing what I'm doing. But yes, I'm just going over on top of like the clear glue and hopefully, okay, maybe I can open it up a little bit more. So I'm not having a super hard time. There we go. All right, that one was supposed to be a heart. That didn't look like a heart. So the paint has dried on all of these so the next thing is to just assemble it which i hope is going to be easy but we will see so what i've been doing is i'm just like taping the two parts together and then putting a lot of tape in the back and hoping that works so here is kind of like the main piece i already like put the two sides together and let's put the final one so i am laying it just making sure that it is aligned as well as I could and then just like press it down so the thing is I kind of expected this there will be like gaps on the side so I kind of figure out what I want to do to fill those gaps out but looks good so far so what I decided to do is to cover the gaps with more tape and then I painted over it and let it dry and somehow it worked I think it got the desired effect. And here's the final look on the gingerbread house. I put Christmas lights in there just like to show the effect. As you can see, the plants are still there, but normally it would be on this table right next to the window. So it actually gets a lot of light, which I can insert a clip here, but it was still like partially finished. So you could see that it actually gets a lot more light compared to just putting Christmas lights inside. So. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. It's not perfect, but I like it. Having the stuff that I need to make the gingerbread 
cookies. And this one I'm trying to film with my point and shoot camera, my G7 X Mark III, just to see if there's any difference. But this one I am like filming for the shorts video. We'll see, you know, trying everything and anything to like get views on shorts. So, okay. So let me prep this stuff and then we'll get to baking. So I'm following the New York Times recipe. There's also a TikTok recipe that I saw, but I'm gonna try the New York Times one first. And I pretty much have all the ingredients except for the shortening. I'm just using butter. Shortening is expensive. And since I have a salted butter, I'm not gonna add additional salt to the recipe and see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing that I'm doing is putting the butter. Apparently I need two sticks of butter, not one. Put another one. Two. The sugar. And then the molasses. Now that it's all melted, I added a fourth cup of cold water and baking soda. And I'm just supposed to let it cool down while I do the rest of the stuff. Okay, next thing I'm supposed to do while I wait for that thing to cool down is to combine the dry ingredients and then mix it all together. So that's what we're going to do. First, we're starting with four cups of flour. And this makes a lot of cookies, so I'm only going to be baking like half of it. And I'm just gonna bake the rest closer to Christmas. And cinnamon and cloves. And here it is. And because, again, I use salted butter, I'm not adding the salt. So for this next part, I do think I need to change paddles. So I think I'll be using this paddle instead. So I'm pouring it in slowly. Okay, the recipe said if it looks sticky, add half a cup of flour. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so I think that is good enough. I did add another fourth cup and I didn't want it to get too dry. So we'll work with that and I'm going to chill the dough so maybe it will harden it a little bit more. We will see. So I divided it into two equal-ish parts. Since, as mentioned, I'm not trying to bake all of this today. It's going to be a lot. This recipe makes about like three dozen. So, but they need to be chilled. So, and this one, I'm just... I think I'm just putting it in the refrigerator. I don't know if I have to freeze it since I'm not baking it until Christmas. But this one, we're going to be chilling for two hours and then bake it. I've taken out of the fridge and then rolled it out and then cut the gingerbread man shapes. I'm trying to just take out the excess dough and somehow transfer it to the baking tray. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. First gingerbread. That looks so good. Baking my next batch. This one's 12, a dozen. So I did bake quite a lot of cookies with this one. But this dough I chilled after I cut it. So we'll see how this one turns out. 
And this one turned out great as well though I didn't really any see difference with chilling the dough again after cutting it and it's my first time icing cookies so forgive my icing work I just used regular vanilla frosting that you can buy in store but once I practice a bit more and ice more cookies I thought I got the hang of it and it was really fun to do and definitely gonna improve my icing technique for the future I'm gonna practice a bit more and I just headed over to Pinterest to get like some inspo designs so each gingerbread could be a little bit different but I kind of like how it turned out and here are all the gingerbread cookies iced we just finished a whole day of baking here it is let's do a taste test the edges are crunchy the middle is chewy it's a little bit dry and um, we'll I hope it's not like the extra fourth cup of flour that I added towards the end. I do taste the ginger and the molasses. Not very overpowering though, and it's not too sweet. I'm having it the tea. Everyone, so right now I'm at the cemetery, but I'm here for the wreath laying ceremony and I'm volunteering for the event, so let's go. So we're on our way. So we're almost close to the cake. So it's gonna have like a three and a half as well. And then they want us on the like the tubes that we need to lay down the roots on. Uh, my wreath. Just looking for a tub to lay it down on. So I'm gonna go to the furthest one, just making sure that they get free. At least one of them. Alright, so fluffing it out a bit before I lay it down. Just making sure it looks pretty. Honestly, it was quite an experience. It is cold. I am gonna go back in line to lay more beef. And yeah. I'm gonna go get some more. Read, read the name, the letter, it's the board, actually like the to read. a workout, to be honest. So I got, I think, about four more. So I don't have to keep walking back and forth. That was round two. A lot of the tombs are already filled with wreath, but I'm gonna see if I can go for round three. Well, it looks like they're out of wreath. So, good job, everybody. That was very quick. So, that was a nice volunteer activity. I was able to go for two rounds, laid out about four wreath. It was a nice experience. I mean, something unique to do during the holidays. And I don't think I've done this before. So I don't know how I got into the volunteer list, but I'm grateful. I'm glad I did this. The challenge now is getting out of here because I am parked like back to back with cars and there's no way I could move unless they move. So heading back to my car. Hopefully I can get out soon. <laughs> Okay, so that was a fun thing to do. 
and meaningful and it was great i mean it's only 10 32 i got like 30 minutes to wait before i can get out of here because as i mentioned i'm blocked in between cars the parking situation is not that great but that's okay because the holiday market that i'm going to doesn't start until noon anyways but i need to pee so bad so honestly i think i just need a car behind me to back out and i think she's coming already so I can leave soon. So I made it to the National Harbor. I actually went to Trader Joe's first and then came here just in time. I think the holiday market just started. I only have an hour and a half because my parking would like increase dramatically fee wise if I stayed over an hour and a half. So let's go do this all in an hour and a half. It's cold anyways. I don't think I can last or stay here any longer than that. That is the Capitol Wheel, National Harbor, and that is a tree. Admittedly, this place is a lot nicer at night. So we'll see if I would come back later tonight, but let's go check out. I think they're giving out free hot chocolate at its sugar. And they're like showing the World Cup over here. I'm a couple minutes early, so they don't have it out yet. So I'm just gonna go check out other places first. I am just like early but I thought the holiday market will be like a lot more than a few tents. to Gaylord so imagine the lights were turned on <laughs> the burger there smells so good I might eat there yeah, imagine those lights were turned on it's gonna look really good so we're gonna head into the Gaylord Hotel to check out the decor I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about I found myself stuck among the cheerleaders because I think there's a cheerleader convention right now. So that is the Christmas village. Let's see if we can enter. Tree. And I let my 
house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories I love getting that shit mainly because this is the place that has like the shortest line burger pie was just like way too long And that's the MGM Hotel. I love their decorations more than I did at Gaylord, but I think for Gaylord, for you to appreciate it, oh, the phone, the fountains just went off. For you to appreciate it, you have to go at night, but also a lot of the stuff that used to be free, now they charge for at Gaylord. So, no bueno. In MGM, a lot of the things are still free, unless of course you're gambling or you're eating. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's vlogmas from my DIY gingerbread greenhouse to my baking and now today laying the wreath on Alexandria National Cemetery and checking out National Harbor. Thank you so much for watching and have a plentiful holiday season. Bye!